morning everyone thought I would do something a little bit different today and I hope that some folks are able to join me I decided to do my thrift haul from my last visit to the outlets that are local here in Durham as a live uh, haul so I'm gonna wait and see if we got some folks jumping on here and while I'm doing that I am going to go ahead and try and pull this up on my computer as well. Looks like we might have somebody that just joined in. Thank you. Let's see here. While well, folks are coming on, the reason I want to see if I can get this pulled up on my computer is because I want to uh, be able to follow the chat there. And it doesn't seem like it is cooperating, but it will eventually. And we've got to wait for some more folks to come on anyway. So I've had a pretty busy Saturday morning so far. I have been up with Violet. Ah, oh, here we go. I've been up with Violet and I have been... Hey, Sandra, how are you? Thanks for joining this morning. I said I'm trying to pull this up on my computer so I can, hi Heather, so I can uh, kind of watch along with you and watch the chats and it, the chat and all. Um, I was saying that, hey, hey Fern, <laughs> I was saying that I'm doing something a little bit different today. Just one, thought I would share my haul live with you folks. And I'm trying to pull this up on my computer. Hey Crystal, Mary so that I can kind of watch along with you and see the comments a little bit easier, I hope, anyway. But, hey, Teresa, I'm glad you ladies could join. Thank you. Like I said, just doing something different this morning. And this is not cooperating. Violet, good morning. How are you? My dog is going to think I'm talking to her. <laughs> you remember she's named after my mom and you ladies both um, are named Violet. I love, obviously, I love that name. It is just not cooperating here for some reason. I don't know why. But, hey Jan, I think what we'll do is just give it um, another couple of minutes for some more folks to jump on. But in the meantime, let me show you something that for you, those of you that are here, let me show you my jewelry tree that I just finished. Um, it turned out to be quite heavy. So this is the first kind of 3D one that I have done. And there's what it looks like. I'm still, I have to get my blow dryer out. Hey Jan from England, thank you for joining us. Oh, you're all moved? Oh, that's great, that's great. You know what, the boxes can sit there, Heather. Don't be in a rush to unpack them. They're not going anywhere. I just wanted to show you my jewelry tree that I finished recently. Thank you, thank you. It turned out to be quite heavy. <laughs> and I'm still, I have to get out my blow dryer, like I started to say, and just kind of burn off the little wispy pieces of the hot glue. But I've got some dangles on there and everything. It was a three-tiered piece. And it takes a lot of time, but it also takes a lot of jewelry. A lot of jewelry. Oh, thanks, ladies. I'm glad that you like it. Yeah, I've had this jewelry saved up for quite some time. Now, even the very tippity top here. Um, no, for the tree was actually, you can see it under here. I don't know what it was made out of, um, but it was three-tiered. <clears throat> um, how did I make it? Well, the tree... Oh, <clears throat> frog, sorry. The tree itself, the form, you can see here. And I just painted it a green and then just started hot gluing. There's buttons on here and um, pieces of old necklaces, bracelets, pins, everything and covered the, t the top of the tree with little rhinestones and then I thought the little angel was the perfect kind of tree topper for it. So there it is. Oh, all finished. I think, oh, something just, a little piece of black just broke off. I'm gonna have to see where that came from and put it back on. But anyway, I thought I would share it with you guys. 
So I went back to the outlet that has opened up here in Durham. It's not a Goodwill outlet. It is a, uh, oh, thank you. It is a, um, it's from the Durham Rescue Mission. They opened up an outlet. It's very tiny. It's outside, um, but they have large cardboard bins where I hurt myself thrifting because I'm so stupid and I'm so short. And the boxes are very tall. They've got to be about four feet maybe tall. And then they're on top of the wooden pallets. So you gotta like, gotta dive in. You have to lean over um, to get in there. And because I'm so short, the, the cardboard boxes were hitting me right in my rib cage here. And I am so sore from it. It's, it's just crazy, but I still had fun. And I still, this is not letting me pull this up on my oh wait maybe this will do it here we go there we go oh yes now let me turn off this there we, there we are okay perfect now i can see the uh chats a lot the, the chat a lot better okay so i am going to go ahead and get started showing you guys what i found and from the thumbnail you can see that i found yet another little willow tree and some of this stuff is going to be for resale. Some of it's going to be for myself. This one is called With Love. So I was very happy to find that. Um, it was not an amazing uh, as my first time there, but I'm still very happy with what I got. A huge bag of little paints, craft paints, with the paint brushes. Yeah, she's so, she's so cute. People love those willow tree th little figurines. Only one this time. So a big bag of paints. I'll be putting those away for crafting. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is just one of those little silicone covers that you put on top of your stuff in the... Hey, Karen. Hello from Michigan. Um, that you put over top of your bowls and stuff when you're reheating things in the microwave so they don't splatter all over the place. So I was happy to find that. I got to wash it up, of course. Uh, let's see, I got some dust bags because I know that some dust bags, okay, I, I bet they can. Yeah, I know I buy my craft um, paints fern at Walmart, but to get that whole bag, and I'll wait till you hear what I spent for everything, it blew my mind. I could not believe it. Um, uh, but these, some of these dust bags can sell for money. Um, so I'm going to try these on eBay. I got one Hobo International. I don't know anything about the brand, but I thought, you know, for, it cost me literally nothing because it weighs nothing. So I thought I would just go ahead and pick it up. And there are a couple of more in here that I will get to. Um, I won't go through these individually, but I bought some uh, empty boxes so that I can... Uh, put in jewelry when jewelry pieces sell pins and such like that uh, i got a little box of thank you cards good morning blue flamingo so i'll be using those that for resale uh, i got some this is almost like a raff oh paper it is paper raffia paper raffia for wrapping up um, presents and gifts and sales uh, this is brand new from Pampered Chef in the box, a food chopper, they call it. It was never, it was never used. I don't think it was ever used. It just amazes me some of the things that people will just simply donate. Yep, see it's brand new in the packaging. So if I don't end up using that myself, I am going to be reselling that. Oh, you have one of them? Oh, you like their choppers, Fern? I've never used their choppers. Um, you know, Pampered Chef is pretty expensive. So I used to buy Pampered Chef when it was things that I didn't think I could find someplace else. But it's it's good to know that they're, I mean, their products are good. Don't get me wrong. They are very good, but they're rather expensive. Um, silly things, but um, just some Ziploc bags, not to use for food storage, but just to, you know, keep kind of little things together so they're not scattered all over the place. Uh, let me see. Batteries. I found a whole bunch of batteries. Unexpired. Big, what are these? The D batteries? Yeah. 
D3 batteries, packages, just packages and packages of them. Um, some C3s. What are these? Some more C3s. Oh my gosh, some more. Didn't realize I got so many. I think I picked everything up, every one up that I could find. Hey, Nancy, how are you? Thanks for joining us. This may take a while, so grab a cup of coffee or tea or something. That's one of the reasons, too, why I just, wow, what had a $60 price tag on it? Something had a $60 price tag on it that came off. I don't know what that was, but wow. Um, I found a whole bunch of these small threads. So I thought maybe I would lock them all up together and just sell them in one of my live sales. They're all brand new. I mean, all different colors and everything. So found those. I found some Simply Safe entry sensors. So there are three here. And my friend Kate said that they might be the old sensors because um, Simply Safe has up graded or updated or something their systems so I'm not I'm not sure if these are new or old but I thought I might try reselling those on eBay and also found a keypad for simply safe so we'll try those for resale on eBay and see how they do oh, oh here are the other two dust bags that I got these are Kate Spade New York So I thought those, I'd give those a shot on eBay as well. Oh, these two little guys are so cute. Couldn't believe that these are in perfect condition. I think this is, is this the hen? So there she is. And then I believe she has a boyfriend. Oh, no worries, Monique. We just really got started. I was kind of trying to get things in order when, when I first came on and all. So you're, you're great. I'm just glad that you're here. Yep, I think that's the hen. And here is her boyfriend, the rooster. So these two guys I'm going to put in my antique space. Which, by the way, is finally actually starting to make me some money, I can say, this month. Thank you. Um, the first two, three months... I had to pay into my rent, which, which really hurt. Uh, but this month, thank you, I finally am um, making money above um, what I have to pay for rent. So I'm really, really happy about that. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, thank goodness, Heather. <laughs> so let me, that's it in that little thing. Uh, now for my Ikea bag. You know those big blue Ikea bags? It's filled, absolutely filled. Um, not a big deal, but if you pack stuff and you know how much bubble wrap can be, I picked up this little roll of bubble wrap that was there, practically free. Uh, for myself, where's the lid? Oh, here we go. I got two of these. They're not Pyrex, but I don't care. Yeah, thank you, Mary. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm pretty happy for it, too. I hope it stays that way. I was actually considering maybe even closing it down because in retrospect, I thought this was not the smartest time to open a physical antique booth space. I mean, I did it. I opened it in June, on June the 1st, and that's when things were closed down. In all honesty, uh, well, actually, here in Raleigh, we were going into phase two, I think it was where some businesses were opening back up. This antiques booth space was actually opened in April when only essential businesses were open. So I have no idea how they were open in April. Maybe they were hoping they didn't get caught. I, I don't know. <laughs> Yours has been pretty busy. Oh, I'm glad to hear that for it. I hope that that rubs off on me some too because I would love that. <laughs> but I was kind of thinking of just, you know, tossing in the towel on it, but... This month has given me some hope for it, so fingers crossed. Uh, let me see. I think these are Anchor Hawking. I got two of these little covered glass cas casserole dishes. They are identical, but those I'm going to be keeping for myself. I was really happy to find those in perfect condition. 
Um, these I'm going to be reselling. Opening booth for my crafts, but not sure yet. Well, I'll tell you what, Mary, here in Raleigh, in the mall that I am in, their prices are high. Uh, I have a six by eight space, and it's $190 a month. Now, um, a friend of mine here on YouTube has uh, several booths, and one of her booths is, oh gosh, oh my gosh, I can't remember the name of the city now, but it's a bit west of me. And I think she said she pays like 60 or $90 a month. So it depends, I guess, you know, on your location and a bunch of other factors. In all honesty, though, I think $190 a month is a lot of money for a 6 by 8 space, but that's what I'm paying. So um, it's a form of storage. It is a form of storage. That's true but I would rather pay $90 for a huge storage unit. Um, and plus it gives me a lot of anxiety worrying every month if I'm going to make uh, the rent on it. So I'm just going to play it by ear from now and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I, I think it's high too, Mary. I found two of these brand new. They are called Tiki Toss. So I thought that, um, and it's on, I think it's on bamboo board. I don't know how it's played, but I, like I said, I found two of them. And I thought, even though, you know, summer is starting to wind down here in North Carolina, there are folks all over the country, you know, that their summer is going to extend much longer than ours down further south. So two of those. Whole bunch just I just rubber banded this all together. It's envelopes and cards and stickers, whoops, little baggies and such that I will be using in just crafting and such. So I was happy to find that. I love finding craft supplies at really inexpensive, inexpensive prices. Um, this is an adult coloring book, and the reason I picked it up because there are more of them in my IKEA bag here that I'm going to show you, and I thought I might lot these all together and offer these up in um, one of my live sales. So I tried my hand at at, um, at the adult coloring, and I did it for a little while, and then I just kind of lost interest in it. But I'm sure there are folks out there that really enjoy it. Was pink? Let's see, Fern, you were paying. A month, but moved last year to a smaller antique mall and only 95. Oh, oh, and a locked case. Oh, wow, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. I think I've already had one item um, that was pocketed from my booth, um, a set of coasters that I cannot find. And f I think funny kind of story. When I told the folks behind the counter that I was missing the coasters, the lady suggested, oh, some, you know, some people pick things up and they just, when they decide they don't want them, they put them in somebody else's booth. They just set them down, which I know they do because I found things in my booth that were not mine. So she suggested that I walk the entire antique mall space looking for my coasters. I said, no. Nope. I said, first of all, I don't have the desire to do that and I don't have the time. So I thought that was crazy. Yeah, it does happen. Yep, it does. It, it's part of it. It's just part of it. People, people are people. I got this. I don't think my daughter is going to play, even though she does go to NC State. But if she doesn't, I might sell this on um, uh, like a local, not Craigslist, but uh, Facebook Marketplace. It's a tabletop toss for NC State because that's where she is going right now. She won't want it. She never likes any of the things I get her for NC State. Oh, here's another one of those. I think this is one of them. Yep, another one of the adult coloring books. This is really pretty. I have to do a little bit of repair to it, but really, really pretty. It's a resin cross. And there you can see it up close. But the crown of thorns and the nails are metal. It's really, really pretty. You can see the back of it has come off of but that'll be a real easy fix and you can either hang it on the wall okay two that's much more reasonable I think um, if I could if they had a spot that was a hundred dollars I'd be happy as could be so I'm off to see I love it is it's so so pretty you can hang it on the wall or you can put it on a tabletop 
So I'm just going to fix that up a little bit and probably going to put that in the antique space. Because that's the other thing with my antique space. Things don't have to be antique to be there in that particular mall. Another mall um, close to me, actually probably closer than the one that I'm at, they do have, they, you have to have antiques in there. They won't take newer stuff. So something like that, that is not vintage or an antique, they won't, wouldn't allow in this space, but in mine they will. I picked this up <laughs> for my friend Rhonda. A lot of you know Rhonda. She helps me in my Monday night sales. I picked this up for her granddaughter. It's a little purse. It's so cute. It's in pristine condition. So I'll be giving that to her. And I'm not going through these things in any order. It's just as they come out. Uh, got a puzzle for my other girlfriend's little boy. He loves uh, Paw Patrol and he loves doing puzzles. And I counted them and believe it or not, all the pieces were there. So yay for that. I got a set of coasters. I, I didn't even count or even look to see if they were. Yeah, it, it's it's so cute. Oh, oh my goodness! Come on now. Okay, so this only has two. There's only five coasters here. That's disappointing. I was hoping there would have been six, um, but they are two, four. Yeah, four, five. That's what they look like, and they actually are in pretty good condition. Um, the surfaces don't have any wear or anything on them. But they're from Spode. So pick those up. Oh, ow. What is in here? Oh, just another, another empty box just to ship out jewelry. Uh, I hit the jackpot on books and such. Oh, oh I have to be having a girl's, oh, a girl's day out. Yay for you. Oh, good. Have fun, Mary. Have some fun for all of us. I think we all could use a girl's day out with some fun. So go go have fun for all of us. <laughs> um, this is also for Rhonda's little one. I'm not, I won't hit it, but when you do hit it, it lights up and I think it flashes. So she should have fun with that. So between that and this little thing, those will make two nice little things for her to play with. Not that she doesn't have enough already. <laughs> okay. Good job, Mary. Thanks for stopping by. Let me see. I'm going to try, if I can, and separate the books from the journals. I got a ton of journals, blank journals, that I'm going to be offering up in sales. Uh, but first, I got the Field Guide to Birds of North America from National Geographic Society. They brought out, they were super, super, I mean, they were nice the first time I went there. But this last time on Thursday, the guy was really nice. He recognized me, even with the mask, he recognized me from the week before. And uh, he had asked some other folks, is there anything that you want to see out? And they had said books. So he had the guys inside the, I'll call it the warehouse, bring out one of those huge four foot things of um, books. And you literally could not get to the bottom of it. So we went diving into that, pulling out books. So there was a young couple there that uh, uh, their jobs were affected because of COVID. So they started selling books on Amazon. So that's what they were there doing was scanning books from, for Amazon. They were new at it. There was another guy to my right that was, I mean, he was a pro at it. He'd pick up a book. It was like he knew right off this was good. This wasn't good. If he thought it was good, he had this little thing on his phone. He scanned it. He was on top of his game for sure. And when I left, he had uh, one of those plastic bins just filled with books. So he did really well. Um, I found this Vera Bradley vanilla sea salt candle in the tin. And oh my goodness. Hi, Empty Nesting 2. Thanks for stopping by. I wish YouTube had smell <laughs> because, oh my goodness, this smells so, so good. And it was never burned, and the tin is actually in perfect condition. So I was happy to find that. Uh, okay, I'm just going to start showing you the journals because that's how they're coming out. Who is that? Blue Flamingo, hi. Thanks for joining. So here starts the journals that I found. Um, this is Anything Book. 
So I just got a, a ton of these. This is made with recycled paper, kind heart, fierce mind, brave spirit. And this just has to be, yep, I just have to bend that up a little bit and that is in perfect condition. Made in Taiwan. Uh, whatever is lovely, think about such things. That, that one, I did, I, I, I got a ton of these. Oh, this one with the flower on the front. Oh, that one's from Pier 1. Now, this one is blank pages, so you could use this for, you know, somebody could use that for journaling, or they can use it for sketching. And it's got a really neat kind of feel on the cover of it. almost feels like homemade paper. And there's absolutely no markings on the inside, so or the outside, so I don't know who made it. Yeah, I got lucky, Heather. I'm telling you. Did I find cookbooks? I found one or two of them, Crystal, but <laughs> I found some other ones at the North North Raleigh Ministries. I found um, some more, and I did find a couple more of the really cool ones that are the recipes that churches put together from their church members. So I found a couple of more of those. I was really excited about that. Um, never Stop Dreaming. Yeah, I really, I really loaded up on the journals. And the young man to my right was very nice um, in helping me dig them out because I was so short, I couldn't get in. Discover your passion. These are great. I don't journal. I used to do it. Isn't that funny? Back in my day, it was called keeping a diary, and now it's journaling, and it's fancy. <laughs> I think that's funny. And I don't do it anymore. They say it's a really good way to kind of get things off your chest. Um, so I don't know, maybe I should reconsider taking it up again. Yeah, there's some of them are really, really pretty. The things in life that make you smile are the only things that really matter. And this one has a little magnetic closure on it. Oh, and these you can actually date too. Well, I mean, you could date any of them, of course, but these have where you can put the dates right on them. Do what makes you happy. What does this say? Be someone's inspiration. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Be someone's inspiration. I wish I could be my daughter's inspiration. That's who I would like to be inspiring. Uh, just another walk in the park. Oh, there we go. That's me and Violet every morning, except I'm usually in a t-shirt and jeans, and she's not that long. <laughs> I don't know, Fern, I really don't, unless a store donated them. No, no, a store didn't donate them because they didn't all come from the same place. So I have no idea. Um, but they, somebody got rid of a lot of them. And there may have even been more there and I just didn't see them all. Five years ago, 20 years ago, 25 years ago. Yeah, it was longer than that for me, the 20 journal and diary, keeping a diary anyway. Just realized my name on here is the Pearl Journal. <laughs> Here's another one with a magnetic closure. Just plain paper, plain white paper. But um, oh, this one's cute. Who's that? Everybody knows who this is. I know. Oh, I hope so, Margaret. Thank you. Hey, Margaret. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> Oh, thank you, Monique. I'm glad you liked it. Where did you say you... Oh, this place, um, Sandra? This... Yep, there you go, Fern. Charlie Brown. Isn't it cute? Um, this... Oh, it's upside down. Uh, this was from the outlet that the Durham Rescue Mission just opened about two weeks ago in Durham, North Carolina. Yeah, that's where it came from. All of this stuff that I'm showing you came from there in one trip. It's really cool. Folks are really nice. It is outdoors, but that's fine. I don't care. Uh, these, I'm going to wait and put these all together and show these to you at one time. Oh, I'm actually coming down to the end of this, guys. So I'll show this to you now. Oh, I got a little thing of glue. <laughs> these, I think this is really pretty. This is Teak Made in Thailand. 
It's this beautiful. Oh, somebody, oh, look, I wonder if somebody had that in an antique space and it didn't sell. I wonder. But it's this beautiful teak salad bowl. Oh, yeah, Heather, just shoot me an email afterwards. And I still like watching Charlie Brown, too. That was one of those things that you could watch back in my day. You could watch with your parents and you didn't, well... You didn't worry about getting embarrassed back then on TV, watching things that were inappropriate because they didn't show them during, you know, family time. It's, anyway, things have changed. <laughs> yeah, the bowl is beautiful. And then it has four uh, bowls that, ma that go with it. One of the bowls, I think it's this one here, seems to be just a little bit lighter in color. Maybe for my sister Jan. Oh, that's cool. She must be a fan, huh? Oh, hey, Kathy. I'm glad you could join us. Just thought I'd do something a little different today and show my haul in a live. Oh, this little guy, little Beanie Baby, picked him up. I have a little basket of Beanie Babies in the booth, so we'll see if he sells. None of the other ones have sold yet, but I have hopes. Uh, oh, here are those other... The threads that I said that I had gotten, but also I found these doorknobs because these things can be, or not doorknobs, uh, drawer holes and such. They can be really high. Oh, Margaret, Kathy is saying, or let me see, Kathy, Margaret is saying, hi Lisa, that she really likes that, uh, the rag swag, the garland that you made for me. I love it. I love it. So these are glass. Oh, Lisa, did you get my email? Check your email. See if you got, I responded to you, okay? And I don't know how many of them there are in here, but they're in beautiful condition. Looks like there's six. I think there might be six of them in here. Oh, no. Oh, darn. This opened up, but <laughs> I won't put it all back together now. But it's a container of all of these um, metal bobbins and I think they go to a Kenmore sewing machine um, there was another thing of them as well in in the one of the bins but it had opened up and some of the bobbins were heaven knows where uh, but that one went to Kenmore and these are identical to it I'm not that much of a sewer that I don't know if bobbins are universal I don't know you I bet you ladies out there would know are bobbins universal from one you know sewing a machine to another I have no idea but it's a whole oh sorry about that it's a whole case of them so I think somebody those would come in handy for someone uh, oh I got a little knife you know exacto knife and you can always use those they all fit mine okay so they must be they must be like a universal size then I'm guessing thanks Kathy okay I got this Fitz and Floyd plaid Christmas, it's called. This little guy, he was in the box, and luckily, <laughs> he had no damage to him. I remember when I took him out of the box to check him, there was a little girl standing kind of near me, and she went, ooh, because <laughs> he's so cute. Look at him, he is so cute. He doesn't have a little nick or a chip or anything on him. I was lucky to pick him out before he got ruined. So you can use him, you know, as a platter, a little plate, or he's got little holes there where you can hang him on the wall. So I was happy that I picked him up before he got damaged. Oh my goodness. I just have to find some place to put him. Yep, we're coming down to the end, everyone. Uh, pick this up. I may do this in a live sale, and then if it doesn't sell, I'll put it up in the antique space. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I thought it was just pretty, and I liked the, the uh, colors on it, too. Oh, let me see. A couple more books. Oh, one more little beanie baby. Yeah, that cross is really cute. So he'll be going into the booth. Um, pair of scissors. I hope they um, are good. 
They're titanium made by Westcott. So I picked them up because, you know, they were in the bins and it was inexpensive. And if they're a good pair of scissors, then yay, that was a great find. This is really cool. This is super cool. Esquire Magazine for Men, December 1969. Congratulations and Merry Christmas. At least you'll see the 70s. Hey, Judy. Thanks for joining us. And I picked this up. I think this is so cool. So cool. Let's see, I was, I was 10 in 1969. So there it is. But it's, it, it, the magazine is in beautiful, beautiful condition. And I don't think it's anything really co cool, like, like really, really special. But I do think it's cool. So I got that. Oh, just married. Oh, the new homosexuality. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, back in 1969. Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. I thought this was pretty cool. Yeah, I think so, too, Judy. Hey, Barbie, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Here we go. Oh, there's the lid, the other lid to my casserole, covered casserole dish. And actually, I just have a few more things to show you. One, of, one more journal. No, wait, this isn't a journal. What is this? Oh, National Audubon Society First Field Guide, Rocks and Minerals. I don't know. I thought somebody might want to get this for, not a, maybe for themselves or for one of their kids. I thought it was kind of cool. And the National Audubon Society... My grade school was John J. Audubon, number 42 <laughs> school that I went to back in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Um, so that just brought back a memory, actually a lot of them. Okay, I did pick up one cookbook from the bit, from the outlet. I'll come and call it the outlet. Editors, I'm sorry, food editors' favorites, treasured recipes. So that's what it looks like. Let's see if there's anybody... Mm -hmm. Oh, it was produced um, either for or by Mothers Against Drug Driving. Uh, let's see, treasured recipes for newspaper food editors and writers association. So there are no, I don't see any graphics. No, there's no graphics in it. Simply recipes. But I would bet there's some good ones in here. There's recipes for paella. Not that I don't eat paella, but they're... Um, oh, Hawaiian banana bread. Oh, I could make that. That sounds good. Whole wheat zucchini bread. Oh my gosh, guys. My mother made the best zucchini bread ever. She and my dad raised the zucchini. They would then harvest it, make the... Oh, it was out of this world. So good. Anything special that I look for when I'm buying cookbooks? Just vintage. vintage. I have too many. They're yeah, yummy, Kathy. Um, I'm, in particular, actually, I'm looking for cookbooks to resell uh, because I'm not, I'll be honest, I'm not much of a cooker. <laughs> so I look for them for resale. And what seems to have been very popular lately, at least for me, are the ones that, um, that churches put together where they're parishioners will submit recipes and then they make a cookbook out of it and I guess they're fundraisers. So they seem to have been um, very, very popular. So that's right now is what I'm looking for because I know that it's of interest um, to a lot of you folks out there. So that's what I'm kind of looking for when I look for cookbooks. And then this one I just picked up, I don't know, sewing for dummies. I probably should keep this myself <laughs> because, although I mean I started sewing Gosh, my sister taught me how to sew when I was probably in the single digits, you know, eight, nine years old. And she bought me, my sister bought me my very first sewing machine, which I only got rid of probably last year. So I'm going to say that sewing machine lasted me. It was a little, little tiny singer one. That thing lasted me 50 years, easily 50 years. And then finally it just said, 
I can't take it anymore <laughs> and it bit the dust. <laughs> Trying to talk your husband into going thrifting today. Monique, go by yourself if he won't go with you. Just go get in the car and go out by yourself and do it. I'm not going out today. Um, I have to clean all of this stuff up here and then I am reorganizing my laundry room. I brought a huge, and I do mean huge, cabinet out of my guest bedroom upstairs. Uh, I brought it down into my laundry room because I'm going to make my laundry room into where I do all of my packing and my shipping for my sales and such um, because it's right next door to my office down here. That way I don't have to go up and down and up and down or bring things down and bring them back up again. Anyway, I'm trying to simplify my life. So I brought that thing down um, this morning. So the rest of my weekend truly is going to be, you know, cleaning up from that mess and then seeing if I can't get my guest bedroom to actually be a guest bedroom again, uh, rather than just a big old mess room. So um, what are you guys doing today? Is anybody doing anything fun today? I hope you get out and go thrifting today, Monique. So what are you guys, what are you all, you all guys, you all guys, what are you guys doing today or this weekend? I also have to cut my grass. Um, it's, it's getting super tall. I'm surprised the neighbors haven't called and complained. Listing, listing, listing. You know what, Barb? I wish I had your get up and go in your drive because I need to be doing the same thing and I am not. Oh, yeah, Dee's live sale. Yep, the Thrill of the Thrift. She has her live sale today at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. She's actually out at the 10-mile yard sale up there in her area today. I'm very jealous. Uh, let me see. We're, Sandra is going shopping. Oh, you're going to St. Louis on the 1st. Oh, yay, you. I'm so glad you're getting out and going doing something fun. Going through drawers and closets that haven't been touched in a long time. Yeah, that's not fun, but man, that is so necessary, isn't it, Lisa? Oh, Fern, you're listing again? Okay. Well, maybe I need to be listing, too. You guys are making me look bad. <laughs> okay, Margaret. What are you doing, Margaret? I'm trying to bring up the video I watched this morning that showed the garland. Oh, okay. It's there somewhere. It was the huge uh, friend uh, mail that I received from Kathy. I think it was the video, yeah, it was the video right before this one. It was just yesterday's video, in fact. Yeah. It was real pretty, really pretty. Everything in there was just beautiful. I'm just looking to see if anyone else is sharing what they're going to be doing this weekend with us. Well, guys, I, that's it. If you enjoyed this live and you think you might like to see more of these, um, let me know. Give me a thumbs up um, because I enjoyed it. Um, actually, they're a little bit easier than recording it and then editing it and putting it up and all of that stuff. So if you enjoyed it, let me know. Give me a thumbs up on it. Uh, you love watching live sales, but buy things. Then my goal is to learn, yeah, learn values and I'm spending small profits when I shouldn't. I understand. Yep. Yeah. I know, Cheryl, Kathy would just blew it out of the park with what she sent to me. And then before that, Darlene, I'm telling you, crazy. Oh, thank you, Sandra. Bye, Judy. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, Stephanie, how are you? You're hitting us at the tail end. <laughs> oh, Kathy, you're doing laundry? That stinks. Okay, you like this type. Empty nesting likes this type. Okay, good. Yeah, Stephanie, I just came on. I just thought it might be kind of fun to do a live haul share. Uh, and I knew it was going to take me more than my normal, you know, 15, 18 minutes or so to go through everything. So I thought this might be a more fun way to do it. Oh, thank you, Barbie. Oh, thank you, Heather. I enjoyed it, too. Good. Thank you. Oh, make it easy on myself. Okay, I'm, I'm trying, Margaret. I'm trying. Oh, okay. Cheryl, thank you. I'll check that email. Yep. Next time, Stephanie. And Teresa, you love lives. Okay, that's good to know. Great. Again. Okay, do it again. Okay. All right. So I guess I'll be doing this again. I appreciate the input, guys. 
All right then, that's it. I am gonna get to cleaning this stuff up and then if it's not too hot outside, cutting my grass. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I will be back on Sunday though at six o'clock um, for my weekly Sunday thrift haul and I'll share with you just a sneak peek again of some of the things that I will have in my live sale on Monday. So I hope you all can join me for that. Bye, Teresa. So thank you, everyone, for joining in. It was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye, Stephanie. Bye, Teresa. Bye, everybody. Thanks again. Love you all. Take very, very good care of yourselves, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, empty nesting. Bye, everyone.